Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. <clears throat> let's play an adventure game where you are... Sounds fun. Let's set the scene for our adventure. You find yourself in a mysterious forest where the trees tower high above you and the air is filled with the sound of rustling leaves. Ahead, you see a path that splits into three directions. To the left, a narrow trail leads deeper into the dark woods. To the right, a sunny path opens up to a sparkling river. Straight ahead, there's a winding road that disappears into a dense fog. Which path do you choose? Wait, I want to set the scene, all right? And then you go with it and ask us the questions again. Absolutely. Go ahead and set the scene however you'd like, and I'll follow your lead from there. You are an interdimensional dragon, giving orders to a frog, a teenage boy, and a salamander they are on a quest for something i want you to come up with ai from the dragon it gets very trippy and mind bending got it here we go as the interdimensional dragon i tower over the frog the teenage boy and the salamander my scales shimmering with colors that shift like a kaleidoscope. The air vibrates with energy as I speak, my voice echoing through the cosmos. Um, brave adventurers, I say. Your quest is to retrieve the celestial prism, a powerful artifact hidden in the realm of forgotten dreams. This prism can unlock the potential of any being and reshape realities. But beware, the path is not straightforward. You'll encounter twisted landscapes, challenges that test your minds and hearts, and illusions that could lead you astray. The frog croaks nervously, the teenage boy adjusts his backpack, and the salamander flicks its tail, ready for the adventure. To begin, I continue, you must choose how to navigate this trippy realm. Do you wish to? 1. Dive into the swirling colors of the dreaming sea, where the waves ripple with thoughts and memories. 2. Climb the Tower of Echoes, where whispers from other dimensions guide you, but may also mislead. 3. Enter the Forest of Reflections, where your deepest fears and desires come to life. Which path do you choose, brave adventurers? Which one we going with? One, two, or three. One, two, or three. <laughs> Who we vibing with? All right, I'm, I'm going to just go with. Let's go with two. Let's do some climbing. I'm going to go with two. You choose to climb the Tower of Echoes. As you approach the tower, its spiraling structure reaches high into the swirling sky, made of shimmering crystal that reflects a thousand colors. The air is filled with soft whispers that beckon you to come closer. With each step you take, the echoes grow louder, forming words that tease your mind. Do you seek truth, or is it an illusion you desire? They murmur. As you reach the first platform, you see a glowing orb floating above a pedestal. It pulses with energy, and the whispers seem to intensify. I, the interdimensional dragon, tell you, this orb contains knowledge from countless realities, but be cautious. If you touch it, you must answer a question that reveals your true self. What do you choose to do? One, touch the orb to seek the knowledge within. Two, ignore it and continue climbing the tower. Three, attempt to decipher the whispers and understand their meaning before making a decision. What do you choose? What are we choosing? One, two, or three? One, two, or three? Got ten seconds. Alright, I'm going to go with three. Let's go with three. You decide to attempt to decipher the whispers before making a decision. You close your eyes, tuning into the soft echoes that swirl around you. The words begin to take shape in your mind, forming images and feelings. Uh, as you concentrate, you realize the whispers are revealing glimpses of the past and future, showing you moments of triumph, fear, and connection. You see the frog leaping courageously, 
the teenage boy standing up for what is right, and the salamander embracing its uniqueness. Suddenly, a clearer voice emerges from the cacophony. To understand the truth, you must confront your own reflections. Only then can you decide your path. Feeling emboldened, you open your eyes and look around. The orb still floats before you, shimmering invitingly. You sense that the knowledge it holds could be powerful, but it comes with the risk of unveiling hidden truths about yourselves. I, the interdimensional dragon, observe your contemplative state. What will you do now, I ask? Will you, one, touch the orb and face the question that awaits? Two, continue climbing the tower, leaving the orb behind? Three, share your reflections with your companions before making a decision. What do you choose? Let's talk to the dragon and keep climbing. You decide to share your reflections with me, the interdimensional dragon, before making any decisions. You gather the frog, the teenage boy, and the salamander around you, feeling a sense of camaraderie and trust. Great dragon, you say. We've been shown images of our strengths and fears. We need to understand how they connect to our quest for the celestial prism. What do you think? I nod, my eyes glowing with wisdom. The journey you're on is not just about retrieving the prism. It's about discovering who you truly are. Each of you has unique gifts that will be vital in the challenges ahead. The knowledge in the orb could help you understand those gifts, but it may also reveal parts of yourselves you're not ready to face. The frog looks contemplative. What if facing our fears makes us stronger, it suggests. The teenage boy nods in agreement. Yeah, we've come this far together. Let's embrace it. The salamander flicks its tail in excitement. Let's keep climbing, but maybe we should keep the orb in mind. I smile, pleased with your teamwork. Then continue your ascent, but remember, every step forward is a step toward understanding yourselves. You decide to continue climbing the tower. As you make your way up, the whispers grow louder and more chaotic, yet they also feel more familiar as if guiding you. Eventually, you reach the next platform where a door appears. It pulsates with energy adorned with intricate designs that seem to shift as you look at them. What lies behind this door, I ask? Uh, are you ready to find out? You can, one, open the door and see what's inside. Two, take a moment to prepare yourselves before proceeding. Three, turn back to explore the orb once more. What do you choose? We're going through that door. You boldly decide to open the door and step through. As you push it open, the door creaks and glows, revealing a dazzling room filled with swirling lights and floating symbols. It feels as if you've entered a dimension beyond your own, where time and space blend into a dreamlike tapestry. In the center of the room stands a magnificent pedestal, and atop it lies the celestial prism. It shimmers with a light that dances and refracts into a spectrum of colors, filling the room with a warm glow. However, around the prism, shadows flicker, revealing figures that seem to be trapped in a loop, repeating the same actions over and over. Welcome, brave travelers, I say, my voice echoing in this mystical space. Uh, the celestial prism is within your reach, but be aware. To claim it, you must face the shadows of those who've sought it before. They are manifestations of their unfulfilled desires and fears. The frog gulps nervously. What do we need to do? The prism can amplify your abilities, I explain, but you must confront the shadows first. Only by understanding what they represent can you claim the prism's power. The teenage boy steps forward. So we'll have to confront our own shadows too, right? I nod. Indeed, you'll need to work together to overcome the challenges ahead. In the room, the shadows shift, forming three distinct shapes, each representing different fears and desires. One, a shadow of a giant frog, fearful of not being brave enough. Two, a shadow of a teenager struggling with self-doubt and the pressure to fit in. Three, a shadow of a salamander, feeling like it needs to change to be accepted. You and your companions hey, must decide how to confront these shadows. Do you, one, confront the giant frog and encourage it to embrace bravery? Two, support the teenager in overcoming self-doubt three help the salamander accept its true self without changing what do you choose wait i looked away for a second yo creator i messed that all up i missed the dirty part but if i would have said dirty joke it this chat gpt it's not my uncensored model 
they would have just said, sorry, I could not have heard to that as a respectable AI model. <laughs> Unless he talked about dirty clothes or something. Dirty feathers. Can you repeat those options? Of course. Here are your options for confronting the shadows. One, confront the giant frog and encourage it to embrace bravery. Two, support the teenager in overcoming self-doubt. Three, help the salamander accept its true self without changing. Which option do you choose? Can there be a fourth option? Absolutely. Uh, what would you like the fourth option to be? That they all figure it out at the same time in a fantastic way individually. Great choice. Here's the fourth option. Four. Have each character confront their shadow individually and discover their strength simultaneously in a fantastic and empowering way. Now, which option will you choose? Four, obviously. Um, you choose to have each character confront their shadow individually, allowing them to discover their strengths in a fantastic and empowering way. As you and your companions take a step back, the shadows swirl around, creating a mesmerizing spectacle. Each character closes their eyes, focusing on their inner thoughts and feelings. The giant frog, filled with courage, leaps forward. I may be small, but I can be brave, it croaks, facing its shadow. The shadow trembles, and with every word of affirmation, it begins to dissolve into sparkling light. Next, the teenage boy steps up. I don't need to fit in to be valued. I'm enough just as I am. His voice resonates, and the shadow of self-doubt shatters like glass, releasing a cascade of shimmering fragments. Finally, the salamander takes a deep breath. I embrace my true self, and I won't change for anyone. As it declares its truth, the shadow flickers and transforms into vibrant colors, blending into the surrounding light. In a breathtaking moment, the three characters shine with newfound energy, their individual strengths combining into a radiant force. The room fills with brilliant light, now make so the castle random for some reason falls apart and now they are in the next part of their journey just as you and your companions reach out to touch the celestial prism a deep rumbling shakes the tower of echoes the shimmering walls begin to crack and pieces of the castle start to crumble around you quickly we need to get out I shout, my voice booming over the chaos. As the walls fall, a brilliant light envelops you and your friends. The prism bursts with energy, creating a portal that swirls with colors and sounds from countless dimensions. You leap through the portal just as the castle collapses behind you. For a moment, everything is a whirlwind of light and sensation, and then suddenly you land softly on a vibrant meadow filled with flowers that glow in hues you've never seen before. The air is thick with the scent of magic, and the sky above swirls with shifting colors. In the distance, you see a massive tree with roots that seem to stretch into different realms, each branch extending toward a unique path. As you gather your bearings, I appear beside you. Welcome to the Meadow of Possibilities. You have transcended the Tower of Echoes, but your quest is far from over. Here, you can choose which path to explore next. You notice three distinct paths leading from the meadow. One, a shimmering pathway that leads to a valley filled with sparkling crystals said to enhance one's abilities. Two, a winding trail leading to a dark forest where ancient secrets are whispered among the trees. Three, a glowing road that spirals upward toward the massive tree, rumored to connect to other dimensions. Which path do you choose to explore next? Let's go to the dark forest. choose to follow the winding trail that leads to the dark forest. As you venture into the forest, the sunlight dims, replaced by the enchanting glow of bioluminescent plants that illuminate the surroundings with a soft, eerie light. The trees are tall and ancient, their gnarled branches intertwining to form a natural canopy above. Whispers fill the air, creating an almost melodic sound as the wind rustles through the leaves. 
you feel a sense of both excitement and trepidation as you step deeper into the shadows. As you walk, the atmosphere becomes thick with magic, and you catch glimpses of strange creatures darting between the trees. Some appear to be friendly, while others seem wary of your presence. Suddenly, you hear a voice that resonates through the forest. Who dares to enter the dark forest, it calls. A figure emerges from the shadows, a wise old owl, its feathers shimmering in the dim light. You seek knowledge, but know this. The forest holds both secrets and dangers. To proceed, you must answer a riddle. The owl flaps its wings, creating a gentle breeze as it delivers the riddle. I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. I have no body, but I come alive with the wind. What am I? You and your companions exchange curious glances. The forest feels alive with anticipation. What will you do? Try to solve the riddle, or do you want to ask the owl for more information about the forest? I'm gonna <laughs> take a breath. <laughs> more faded. <laughs> Is it the riddle? <laughs> Does it? Hmm. What could it be? What could it be? It was on the riddle yesterday. Dang. Ask more information about the riddle. You decide to ask the wise old owl for more information about the riddle. Great owl, you say respectfully. Can you give us a hint or some context to help us understand what you mean? The owl nods sagely, its large eyes glimmering. Right, very well, it replies. Consider the nature of sound and communication. What can be created and felt but is not physical. It may travel vast distances, yet it needs no body to exist. With the owl's hint echoing in your mind, you ponder the riddle further. The forest seems to grow quiet, as if waiting for your response. What do you think the answer is? Or would you like to take more time to discuss it with your companions? I have the answer. That's great. What's your answer to the riddle? The wind? You confidently answered the wind. The owl tilts its head considering your response. Close but not quite head. correct, it replies gently. Yeah. The wind carries many things, but it is not the answer I seek. Think about what the wind can do, especially in terms of communication. The forest seems to shimmer with anticipation as you think it over again. Your companions look at you, eager to hear your next thought. What would you like to say now? Would you like to guess again or ask for more guidance? Another hint. The owl smiles knowingly. Very well, here's another hint. I can carry messages across great distances, but I am not alive. I can be captured and stored, yet I need no physical form. Uh, think of the ways we share thoughts without speaking. With this new clue, you and your companions consider what the answer could I be. I want to say thoughts. What do you think it is? I want to say thoughts. Is it thoughts? Or electricity? You boldly say, is it thoughts? The owl's eyes widen with delight. That is indeed close, but not the answer I seek. The answer I'm looking for is an echo. It speaks without a mouth and can be heard without ears. The owl continues, You've shown great curiosity, what? and while you did not answer correctly, your willingness to engage in this quest is commendable. It does you echo in your mind. Deeper into the dark forest. And then you play it out. The again. owl gestures, a path illuminated hey. by shimmering light, appears before you. Just that. Follow this path to uncover the secrets of the forest. But remember, knowledge often comes with challenges. With your companions by your side, you step onto the new path, the forest buzzing with potential and adventure. What do you wish to do next? Explore the deeper parts of the dark forest or ask the owl one last question before leaving? One last question. You turn to the wise old owl, feeling curious about the forest's mysteries. Before we go, wise owl, can you tell us what we might encounter deeper in the dark forest? No, that's not. Are there any dangers or treasures we should be aware of? The no, owl nods, and its expression is serious. The deeper you go, the more powerful the magic becomes. You may encounter spirits of the forest, some benevolent, eager to share their wisdom, and others mischievous, testing your resolve with riddles or challenges. 
It's said that a hidden treasure lies at the heart of the forest, guarded by a creature that thrives on fear. Overcoming your fears is the key to unlocking it. Remember, not all challenges are physical. Some may require you to confront what lies within yourself. With that wisdom imparted, the owl flaps its wings, creating a gust of wind that sends shimmering leaves swirling around you. Go forth with courage and an open mind. The forest awaits your exploration. Thanking the owl, you turn back to the path ahead, ready for whatever lies in the depths of the dark forest. What would you like to do next? Continue exploring deeper into the forest or gather your thoughts with your companions before proceeding? Let's chat while we walk. <laughs> As you walk along the illuminated path, the vibrant colors of the forest surround you. The bioluminescent plants uh, sway gently in the breeze and your companions start to share their thoughts. The giant frog hops alongside you looking curious. I wonder what kind of spirits we might meet. Do you think they'll be friendly? The teenage boy shrugs, glancing at the trees. I hope so, but if they test us, I hope we can handle it. I don't want to face anything that brings up my insecurities. The salamander speaks up, its voice steady. Whatever we encounter, we have to remember what the owl said. Overcoming our fears is part of this journey. We've already faced shadows together, and we can do it again. You nod, feeling a sense of camaraderie among your group. What do you think the treasure could be? Do you think it's something material or maybe a lesson we need to learn? The giant frog considers this. It could be a powerful magic item or something that helps us understand ourselves better. The teenage boy adds, or it might even be knowledge or wisdom that we can share with others. What do you think? As you walk deeper into the dark forest, the air grows thicker with anticipation. Um, you feel the energy of the forest and the conversation flows naturally. What do you think about their ideas? What's your perspective on what the treasure might be? Please go back to offering options as if this is an adventure game. And don't forget about the dragon. Let's continue with entering the forest. You continue to walk deeper into the dark forest, the air track. growing thicker with magic <laughs> and mystery. Suddenly I, the interdimensional dragon, appear before you in a shimmer of light. Ah, uh, my brave adventurers, you've made it to the heart of the dark forest. Uh, this place is rich with possibilities and challenges. Remember, your journey is not just about what you seek, but also about what you learn along the way. And they keep talking about that. As I soar above, my wings casting shadows on the ground, I continue. You may encounter spirits, guardians, and the treasure you seek. Choose wisely how you proceed. Here are your options. One, investigate a soft glowing light that seems to dance among the trees, beckoning you closer. Two, approach a mysterious whispering sound that seems to come from a nearby thicket, inviting you to listen. Three, follow the winding path deeper into the forest, trusting your instincts to guide you to the treasure. Four, ask me, the dragon, for guidance on what to do next. What do you choose? Let's go with option one. You decide to investigate the soft glowing light dancing among the trees. As you move closer, the light becomes more vibrant, pulsating in shades of blue and green. It flickers like a tiny star, and you can feel a warm energy radiating from it. As you reach the source, you find a small, ethereal fairy hovering in the air. Her wings sparkle like diamonds, and she looks at you with bright, curious eyes. Welcome, brave travelers. I am Lyra, guardian of the forest's magic. You've been drawn to my light. What is it you seek? Your companions look at each other, intrigued. The frog croaks softly. We're on a quest for treasure and knowledge. Lyra smiles, her glow intensifying. Ah, treasure and knowledge. I can help you. But first, you must answer a question. If you do, I'll reveal a secret that may aid you in your journey. She pauses, looking serious. Here's my question. What is the one thing that can be lost yet never truly taken away? You feel the weight of the moment, and your companions lean in, eager to hear your thoughts. What will you say? Uh, do you want to answer the riddle, or do you want to ask Lyra for a hint? <laughs> I had it. Uh, repeat. <laughs> Lyra, 
of the Ethereal Fairy asks, what is the one thing that can be lost yet never truly taken away? Your companions lean in, waiting for your answer. Um, what do you think the answer is? Memory? You confidently say, memory. Lyra's eyes sparkle with delight. Correct. Uh, memory is indeed something that can be lost, but never truly taken away. Well done, brave traveler. With a graceful flutter, she moves closer and whispers, as a reward for your insight, I will share a secret with you. Deep within the heart of this forest lies a hidden glade where time flows differently. If you find it, you may uncover knowledge that transcends even the boundaries of reality. With a wave of her hand, Lyra creates a shimmering map in the air, revealing a path that glows faintly. Follow this path and you shall find the glade. But beware, for the journey is not without its challenges. As she finishes speaking, the light around her begins to fade, but you can still feel her presence. What do you want to do next? Follow the glowing path to the hidden glade, or ask Lyra one more question before she disappears. Let's head on out. <laughs> you decide to follow the glowing path that Lyra revealed, feeling a sense of excitement and purpose. The fact that the I can say anything guides you deeper into the forest, the illuminating the cool. way as you navigate through the towering trees and shimmering plants. As you walk, the air feels charged with magic, and the whispers of the forest grow louder, almost as if the very trees are encouraging your journey. After a while, you arrive at a beautiful clearing bathed in ethereal light. In the center of the glade, a large stone altar stands, covered in intricate carvings and glowing runes. Uh, the atmosphere is tranquil, yet you can sense the power emanating from the altar. Suddenly, you notice that the air around you begins to ripple as if reality itself is shifting. The dragon's voice resonates in your mind. Describe the runes more and then continue the story. As you step into the glade, the atmosphere is alive with shimmering energy. The air is fragrant with blooming flowers and delicate glowing vines draped from the branches above, casting intricate patterns of light on the forest floor. The stone altar at the heart of the glade is weathered yet majestic, its surface adorned with swirling symbols that pulse gently with light. Each carving tells a story, intertwining themes of knowledge, courage, and the mysteries of the universe. Uh, surrounding the altar are large stones, each one engraved with different creatures from the forest, their eyes seemingly watching you with curiosity. On one side of the clearing, a sparkling stream flows gently, its waters clear as crystal. It meanders over smooth stones, creating a soothing melody that adds to the serene ambiance. Uh, a few colorful butterflies flit about, dancing in the warm light, while the soft rustle of leaves creates a calming backdrop. Uh, on the other side, the trees form a natural arch way, leading into a dense thicket that seems darker and more mysterious. You sense that something lies beyond, perhaps a secret or challenge waiting to be discovered. As you take in the beauty of the glade, your companions gather around you. The giant frog croaks softly. This place is amazing. What should we do first? The teenage boy, wide-eyed, adds, I feel like we're on the verge of something incredible. Should we check out the altar? The salamander nods in agreement but there's a flicker of concern in its eyes. Let's be cautious. This place feels powerful. We should be prepared for anything. You take a deep breath, feeling the weight of their anticipation. What will you do next? Approach the altar to seek knowledge, explore the stream for any hidden treasures, venture into the dark thicket, or ask your companions what they think. Let's ask the companions. You decide to take a moment to assess your companions and ensure everyone is ready before making a move. Let's gather our thoughts and make a plan, you suggest, looking at the giant frog, the teenage boy, and the salamander. The frog croaks softly, good idea. This place is beautiful, but it feels like it holds a lot of power. We should be careful. The teenage boy nods, running his hand over the cool stone of the altar. I agree. Um, if we're going to explore, we need to stay together. Strength in numbers, right? The salamander adds, whatever we encounter, we need to be prepared to support each other. We might face challenges that test our bonds. Feeling the unity among your group, you think about the options ahead. The altar calls to you with promises of knowledge, 
while the sparkling stream and dark thicket hold their own mysteries. What do you all think we should do next, you ask, looking around at their eager faces. Do we want to approach the altar first, explore the stream, or check out the thicket? Your companions exchange glances, ready to voice their opinions. What will you decide as a team? Let's go into the thicket. The thickest of the thicket. You and your companions decide to venture into the dark thicket. The He's air like grows cooler get this as you step like beneath the archway really formed by the nice. trees, and a sense of mystery envelops you. The light from the glade dims, replaced by a soft, muted glow it's that filters dope. through the dense leaves above. As you move deeper into the thicket, the underbrush rustles softly around you. The path twists and turns, revealing shadows that dance along the ground. Occasionally, you hear distant sounds, whispers, and rustles that make your heart race with a mix of excitement and apprehension. The teenage boy shines his light ahead, illuminating the thick vines and twisted roots. I can't shake the feeling that something is watching us, he says, glancing over his shoulder. Uh, the giant frog stays close, its large eyes scanning the surroundings. Let's stick together. There's no telling what we might find here. Suddenly, the salamander stops, pointing at a cluster of glowing mushrooms growing nearby. Mm -hmm. Look, um, these mushrooms seem to pulse with energy. I wonder if they have any special properties. As you all gather around the mushrooms, the air thickens with an almost electric charge. The colors shift from soft blues to vibrant greens, and you can sense the magic within them. Now you have some options to consider. One, inspect the glowing mushrooms to see if they hold any secrets or powers. To continue deeper into the thicket, trusting your instincts to uncover whatever lies ahead. Three, search for any signs or markings on the trees, hoping they might provide guidance. Four, consult with your companions about the mushrooms and decide what to do together. What will you choose? Let's see about those mushrooms. You decide to inspect the glowing mushrooms, intrigued by their vibrant colors and the energy radiating from them. As you kneel down, the light dances off their caps, creating a mesmerizing display. The teenage boy leans in closer. They look otherworldly. Do you think they're safe to touch? The salamander carefully reaches out a tiny limb to poke one of the mushrooms. As soon as it makes contact, a soft, melodic chime resonates through the thicket, sending ripples of light into the air. The mushrooms seem to respond to the salamander's touch, pulsing more brightly and releasing a faint, sweet scent. Wow, it's like they're alive! The giant frog exclaims, hopping a bit closer to examine them. Uh, as you observe, you notice small symbols etched into the soil around the mushrooms, shimmering in the dim light. They appear to form a pattern, almost like a rune. The air grows thicker with magic, and you feel a pull toward the mushrooms. Suddenly, you hear a voice echo in your minds, gentle yet powerful. Those who seek knowledge and courage touch the glowing fungi and speak your truth. Only then shall you unveil the path ahead. Your companions look at you, excitement and curiosity in their eyes. What will you do next? Touch the mushrooms and speak your truth, examine the wounds more closely, or decide it might be best to leave the mushrooms alone and continue deeper into the thicket? Examine the runes. You decide to examine the runes etched into the soil around the glowing mushrooms. Uh, kneeling down, you focus on the symbols, tracing your fingers over their intricate designs. Each rune pulses gently, seeming to resonate with the magic in the air. The runes are beautifully crafted, combining lines and curves in a way that feels both ancient and alive. As you study them, you notice that they form a circular pattern, creating a sort of protected barrier around the mushrooms. The energy from the runes feels harmonious, almost like a melody that sings to your senses. Suddenly, a flash of understanding hits you. The runes appear to represent concepts, courage, wisdom, balance, and unity. You realize they may be offering guidance for your journey ahead. The teenage boy leans in and whispers, Do you think these runes could unlock something or reveal a message? The salamander adds, Maybe they're a test. We might need to embody what they represent to move forward. Feeling a surge of determination, you know you can choose to interact with the runes. You could try to channel the meanings of the runes and speak a truth related to each concept, or you could try to remember a story or lesson that embodies these qualities. 
What will you do? Attempt to speak a truth inspired by the runes or share a story or lesson that embodies courage, wisdom, balance, and unity. The second one. You decide to share a story that embodies the qualities of courage, wisdom, balance, and unity. Taking a deep breath, you begin feeling the weight of your words in the stillness of the thicket. There was once a small village surrounded by mountains. In this village lived a wise elder who was respected by all. One day, a fierce storm threatened the village, causing panic among the people. The elder gathered everyone and told them a story of an ancient tree that had weathered many storms. You pause, letting the imagery sink in. This tree stood tall, its roots deep and intertwined with others nearby. When the storms came, it swayed with the wind but never broke. It reminded the villagers that courage wasn't about standing alone, but about being part of something greater. They found strength in unity. As you speak, the runes around you begin to glow brighter, reacting to your words. The air shimmers, and you can feel the energy building in the space. The villagers learned that wisdom was knowing when to seek help and support from one another. They worked together, reinforcing their homes and sharing supplies. In doing so, they created balance, not just within the village, but among themselves. With each word, the runes pulse with energy, and the mushrooms shimmer in response. Your companions watch intently, feeling the power of the story resonate with their hearts. As you finish, the runes suddenly illuminate with a brilliant light, and the voice echoes once more. You have spoken your truth, and the essence of these qualities flows through you. The path to deeper knowledge shall now be revealed. The ground beneath you begins to shift, and the runes transform, revealing a hidden pathway that winds deeper into the thicket, illuminated by soft, ethereal light. What will you do next? Follow the newly revealed path into the thicket, or take a moment to discuss your experience with your companions. Let's discuss the experience and see if we can eat that mushroom. You gather your companions in a small circle, excitement buzzing in the air as the runes settle back into their gentle glow. That was incredible, you exclaim. The story seemed to resonate with the runes. I could feel the energy shift. The teenage boy nods vigorously. Yeah, it was like the forest responded to us. I've never felt anything like that before. The salamander looks at the glowing mushrooms, curiosity sparkling in its eyes. Do you think we can eat one of those mushrooms? They seem special. Maybe they could enhance our abilities or give us more insight into our journey. The giant frog leans closer, peering at the mushrooms. But are they safe? What if they have unexpected effects? You all consider the possibility. Eating the mushrooms could be a gamble. They might grant you newfound strength or knowledge, but there's also the risk of something less desirable. As you discuss, the shimmering mushrooms seem to pulse invitingly, as if encouraging you to make a decision. You wonder if the story you told has somehow imbued them with a sense of safety. What will you decide? Uh, do you want to eat one of the mushrooms, keep discussing your experience and potential risks, or explore the hidden pathway that was revealed? Eat the mushroom, eat the mushroom, eat the mushroom. Uh, feeling a surge of courage, you announce, let's eat the mushrooms. They seem safe, and after what we just experienced, I believe they might enhance our journey. The teenage boy grins. I'm in! Let's see what happens. The giant frog and the salamander exchange excited glances, their anticipation palpable. You all carefully pick a glowing mushroom, its soft light illuminating your faces. You take a moment to appreciate the beauty of the mushroom before taking a bite. The taste is surprisingly sweet, like a blend of honey and berries. And as you chew, a warm sensation spreads through your body. Your companions follow suit, each savoring their own mushroom. The moment you all finish eating, a powerful energy envelops you. The world around you shifts, colors intensifying and sounds becoming clearer. Suddenly, visions flood your mind. You see the interconnectedness of all living things, the roots of the ancient tree, the whispers of the wind, the pulse of magic in the air. It's as if you've stepped outside of time and space experiencing the essence of the forest itself. Wow, I can see everything, the teenage boy exclaims, his eyes wide. It's like I'm part of this place now. The giant frog jumps excitedly. I can feel the heartbeat of the forest. It, it's alive, the salamander chirps. I understand the runes now. They're more than just symbols. They represent our journey together. 
With this newfound awareness, you can now sense that the hidden pathway ahead is alive with potential. Talk about more of what they are experiencing while on mushrooms, and then continue the journey. As the effects of the glowing mushrooms take hold, your companions become more attuned to their surroundings. The world around you feels alive in ways you had never imagined. The teenage boy begins to see colors that he could, couldn't comprehend before. The greens of the leaves seem to hum with energy, and the brown earth pulses like a living heart. It's like everything is breathing, he exclaims, almost dancing on the spot as he twirls, feeling a new sense of freedom light. The giant frog closes its eyes, and you notice its massive body quivering slightly. I can hear the songs of the trees. It croaks, its voice resonating with a deep melodic tone. They're telling tales of ancient wisdom. They've seen so much. The salamander, small and vibrant, begins to dart back and forth, its movements graceful and fluid. I can feel the magic in the air. It's like threads weaving us all together. It chirps, marveling at the sparks of light that trail behind its movements. The little creature seems to dance between shadows, illuminating the path as if it were guiding you with its newfound energy. You take a moment to absorb their experiences, feeling a deep connection forming among you. The forest whispers secrets, urging you to listen and understand the power of unity. You realize that each of you is not just a participant in this journey, but a vital part of something greater. As the vivid sensations begin to settle, the path ahead seems clearer. You notice that the hidden pathway glimmers with a silvery light, almost beckoning you forward. The trees around you appear to sway gently, creating an archway that feels inviting. Fueled by your collective experiences and the bond you've forged, you decide to move deeper into the thicket. The atmosphere is charged with anticipation, and the energy from the mushrooms pulses within you. As you step onto the hidden pathway, the surroundings shift again. The air becomes thicker, and strange flowers bloom along the path, glowing softly. Each flower seems to hum a different tune, contributing to the symphony of the forest. Suddenly, the ground trembles slightly, and a low rumble echoes through the thicket. You stop in your tracks as the trees part, revealing a clearing where a massive ancient stone monolith stands, covered in vines and glowing runes. What is that? The teenage boy asks, his eyes wide with awe. It feels powerful, the giant frog adds, nodding solemnly. The salamander approaches the monolith, its small frame dwarfed by the towering structure. It's a marker of knowledge. Maybe it holds more secrets. You feel drawn to the monolith, sensing that it might hold the key to your journey and the challenges that lie ahead. What will you do? Approach the monolith to investigate further, attempt to read the runes on its surface, or gather your companions and discuss what you've experienced so far. Let's go up to the rune. Let's go up to the statue, I mean. You lead your companions toward the monolith, feeling an irresistible pull toward its ancient presence. As you approach, the energy surrounding it intensifies, wrapping around you like a warm embrace. The runes etched into the stone glow softly, pulsating in rhythm with your heartbeat. Um, the teenage boy touches the monolith, and the moment his fingers make contact, a burst of light shoots up the stone, illuminating the area. Whoa, did you see that? He exclaims, stepping back in surprise. The salamander hops forward, eyes wide with excitement. It's alive. I can feel its energy. It wants to communicate. You reach out, placing your hand on the cold stone surface. As you do, a rush of images floods your mind. Visions of the forest, ancient battles, forgotten rituals, and a deep understanding of the balance between nature and magic. Um, the knowledge is overwhelming but exhilarating. Suddenly, a deep voice resonates from the monolith, echoing through the clearing. Seekers of truth, you have arrived at the threshold of understanding. The journey ahead is fraught with challenges, but you are not alone. The giant frog leans in closer, captivated by the voice. What challenges? What do we need to do? Your paths are intertwined, the monolith continues, its voice reverberating through the air. As to unlock the next phase of your journey, you must each face a trial that reflects your innermost fears. Only by overcoming these fears can you harness the true power of this realm. Come up with a different trial. As you stand in this shadowy landscape, the weight of uncertainty pressing down on you, a name comes to mind. The Veil of Echoes. 
It captures the essence of the place, where your thoughts and fears manifest as whispers and shadows, echoing through the darkness. With this name in your mind, you feel a sense of purpose. The Veil of Echoes is a realm where you must confront your innermost struggles, and you know that understanding its depths will be key to overcoming the challenges ahead. As you take a deep breath, ready to face whatever lies within the Veil of Echoes, you notice faint glimmers of light in the distance. They seem to pulse gently, almost beckoning you to approach. What will you do next? Move toward the glimmers of light, take a moment to gather your thoughts, or try to reach out and connect with your, with your companions, hoping they're nearby in their own trials. What is a fourth and fifth option? In addition to moving toward the glimmers of light, gathering your thoughts, or reaching out to your companions, here are two more options. Fourth option, explore the shadowy landscape around you, searching for clues or symbols that might help you understand the nature of your fears. Fifth option, sit down and meditate, trying to quiet your mind and connect with the energy of the veil of echoes, hoping to gain insight into what you need to confront. Which option will you choose? The last one. Got it. What's your option? You're welcome. What would you like to do next in the story? What I would want to do next is meditate and come across a cool sword. You decide to meditate, sitting down in the shadowy landscape of the Veil of Echoes. Closing your eyes, you focus on your breath, letting the weight of your fears fade into the background. You feel the energy of the realm surrounding you, pulsing in rhythm with your heartbeat. As you delve deeper into your meditation, the shadows begin to shift and swirl around you, creating a dance of darkness and light. Slowly, images start to form in your mind. Visions of strength, courage, and ancient wisdom. Suddenly, a brilliant light pierces through the darkness, illuminating a stunning sword embedded in the ground before you. The blade shimmers with an ethereal glow, and intricate runes dance along its surface, reflecting the very essence of the realm. The hilt is adorned with gemstones that seem to pulse with energy. Feeling a pull toward the sword, you open your eyes and approach it. As you grasp the hilt, a surge of power flows through you, and you hear the whispers of the sword echoing in your mind. This blade is forged from the courage of those who face their fears. The voice resonates. It is a tool for those who seek to overcome their trials and protect their companions. You realize that this sword is not just a weapon. It symbolizes your strength and determination to confront whatever challenges lie ahead in the Vale of Echoes. With the Come up with a name for the sword and continue story. You hold the sword in your hands, feeling its weight and energy. You decide to name it Echo's Edge. The name reflects its connection to the Veil of Echoes and symbolizes the cutting through of fear and uncertainty. With Echo's Edge firmly in your grip, you feel empowered and ready to face whatever challenges lie ahead. The shadows around you seem to shift with anticipation as if acknowledging the awakening of a powerful force. As you step forward, the air becomes charged with energy and the glimmers of light you saw earlier intensify. The landscape begins to transform, shifting into a series of paths branching off in different directions. Each path is marked by a different color representing various aspects of your fears. You take a moment to consider your options. One path glows a deep red, hinting at anger and frustration. Another shines a brilliant blue, suggesting sadness and loss. A third path shimmers with a golden light, symbolizing doubt and insecurity. Feeling the weight of the moment, you realize that each path represents a trial you must face to grow stronger. Echo's Edge hums softly in your hand, as if encouraging you to confront these challenges. What will you do? Choose the red path to face anger, the blue path to confront sadness, the golden path to tackle doubt, or explore another option. What's that other option? Uh, the other option is to take a moment to reflect on your experiences 
and the powers of Echo's Edge. Uh, you could try to tap into the energy of the sword to gain insights about which trial might be most important for you to face first. This would allow you to potentially discover a hidden truth about yourself before choosing a path. What do you think? Would you like to reflect or choose a path? Reflect. Reflect. You decide to take a moment to reflect, feeling the energy of Echo's Edge pulsing gently in your grip. You close your eyes again, focusing on your breath and allowing your thoughts to settle. As you meditate, you visualize each path and what it represents. The red path resonates with the frustrations and anger that often bubble beneath the surface, experiences that have shaped your identity. The blue path calls to the moments of sadness and loss that have made you stronger, teaching you resilience. The golden path beckons with its light, representing self-doubt and insecurity, challenges that can hinder your progress. With each thought, you feel a deeper connection to your own emotions. Uh, the sword vibrates in acknowledgement, as if urging you to recognize the importance of confronting these feelings. In this moment of clarity, you understand that each path is essential to your growth, but the one that stands out most is the blue path. You realize that facing sadness can lead no, I'm going to choose the third one. Uh, you decide to approach the figure with intention, hoping to transform its presence into something more positive. As you step closer, you raise Echo's Edge, allowing its shimmering, ener shimmering energy to flow through you. You focus on the power of healing and transformation, channeling your intentions toward the figure of sadness. I see you. You say your voice steady. You represent my past, my losses, and my pain. Okay. But you do not have to remain this way. I choose to understand it's and transform you into strength. The sword knows best. The figure seems to shudder at your words, its shadowy form flickering as if caught between two states of being. You feel a surge of energy from Echo's edge, radiating warmth and light. The whispers around you grow louder, forming words of encouragement, urging you to continue. With determination, you raise the sword high. And as you bring it down, a beam, a beam of light erupts from the blade, striking the figure. Um, the shadow begins to dissolve, revealing memories and moments intertwined with your sadness. You see glimpses of faces, places, and experiences, each a part of your journey. As the light engulfs the figure, it transforms into a swirling mist of blues and silvers, sparkling like the night sky. I am not your enemy, the mist whispers, now a gentle presence rather than a dark shadow. I am your experience, your teacher. Embrace me, and I will show you strength. You feel a wave of relief wash over you, understanding that this sadness is a part of who you are but does not define you. You lower Echo's Edge, now a tool of connection rather than confrontation. With the mist enveloping you, you gain insight into the lessons learned through your struggles. You realize that acknowledging sadness allows you to embrace joy even more fully, and it becomes a source of empathy and understanding for others. Uh, as the mist swirls around you, it begins to settle, forming into a small, glowing orb of light that floats gently above your palm. You have transformed me, it says softly. Now carry this light with you as a reminder of your strength and the beauty that arises from your experiences. Feeling empowered, you watch as the orb expands, illuminating the blue path and revealing a doorway ahead that leads deeper into the Veil of Echoes. What will you do next? Move through the doorway to see what lies ahead, or take a moment to reflect on your transformation. Create a way for this story to be continued later. Make it very, very interesting. As you stand there, cradling the glowing orb of light in your, of light in your palm, a sudden rush of wind sweeps through the clearing. The orb pulses with energy, and you feel the warmth radiating from it. It begins to hum softly, resonating with your heartbeat. Suddenly, the landscape around you shifts again, the blue hues blending into a kaleidoscope of colors. The doorway ahead pulsates, and you realize it is a portal to another dimension within the Vin, the Veil of Echoes. Whispers of ancient knowledge fill the air, inviting you to step through. Before you can decide, the mist transforms into a shimmering figure that resembles a younger version of yourself, yet filled with the wisdom of your experiences. You have done well, the figure says, its voice echoing with familiarity, but this journey is only beginning. 
The orb you hold is a key to unlocking the secrets of your past, present, and future. Each door you encounter will lead you to a different aspect of your journey, revealing challenges, allies, and truths you have yet to discover. The shimmering figure gestures toward the swirling portal. You can choose to enter now, where you will face a new trial that will test your courage and intellect. Or you can hold on to this moment, reflecting on your journey so far and gathering your strength for the path ahead. You ponder the weight of this choice. The portal thrums with energy and the possibilities ahead spark your curiosity. You can feel the orb gently vibrating, eager to guide you further. As you prepare to decide, a distant echo reaches your ears, a sound that feels both familiar and foreign, hinting at adventures waiting just beyond the threshold. In that moment, a flash of light bursts from the orb, projecting a vision of a grand city made of crystal and light. You see figures moving within, each representing different parts of your journey, friends, mentors, and even challenges you've yet to face. Choose wisely, the shimmering figure whispers, fading into the mist. The key to your journey lies in your heart. Will you step through the portal now, or will you wait to gather more insight? With a heart full of possibilities and a mind buzzing with excitement, you stand at the crossroads of your adventure, ready to decide the next chapter of your tale. To be continued. When you're ready to continue this journey, you can choose to enter the portal or take time to reflect further. What will it be? Thank you for being part of the South Tower Podcast. Uh, we will continue the story later. Please save this. Please save this in your memory. I'm glad you enjoyed the story. While I can't save the story itself, I can remember that you're continuing this adventure on the side of podcast. Whenever you're ready to pick it up again, just let me know. All right. Peace out. Take care. Looking forward to our next chat. All right. Y'all had it here first. Right here only on the Side Top Podcast. I'm going to catch y'all on the Tide Side. If y'all support streams like this, y'all know what to do. Check out the JustTieMushrooms.com. And everything in between that rhymes. Appreciate y'all. Till next time. Until the time. Hey, let the y'all continue to.